right, it is a beautiful day in Indy today, but temperatures are increasing. We're going to get into the 90s, which is a little bit too hot for me, Ethan, but here we go. Yeah, today's going to be like that taste. You know, many spots will get close to hitting 90. Otherwise, we're going to be in the mid to upper 80s for high temperatures today, and we'll get even warmer later on this weekend. But it is overall a great day for events outside like the Strawberry Fest because we have crystal clear blue skies, a light wind coming out of the south and west, and humidity levels. They're all right. They're tolerable for this time of the year. They could be much worse and will be in the days ahead. 81, the latest temperature here at the station, 82 at the airport. That's our high temperature for the day, already up to 84 in Tipton. And I anticipate we're going to get even warmer throughout the daytime today. Dew point up to 59. Again, these are tolerable humidity levels, but out to the west, it's a different story. Chicago's dew point at 67, Kansas City at a very muggy 72 degrees. That's why it's areas to the west where there that is that higher severe severe weather risk for today. That's where that level three out of five enhanced risk is bullseye in parts of central Illinois and parts of Iowa and Missouri. For us here, you got to go further north and west as this line of storms is going to be decaying as it moves through here. So for later on today, your umbrella forecast for tonight, 40% chance of an umbrella sponsored by Keller and Keller. And not everybody is going to see some rain, but later on, just keep an eye on the skies. This is what it looks like on Guardian Radar at this time will remain dry for today and even into the evening. But this line, while it may not look impressive on satellite and radar, it's going to be heading into that very warm, moisture-filled atmosphere. It's going to become more organized as it lands into uh, Iowa and Illinois. And this is coming ahead of a cold front that is going to move through here later on tonight and give us another comfortable a couple of days before the real heat and humidity arrive for Father's Day. Let's time this out. Future view, 8.30 tonight. Areas north and northwest, I should mention have the higher chance of seeing this rain, and this is going to be anytime after 9 10 o'clock and then even more so right around midnight and continuing into the overnight hours. Should it hold together severe threat, especially around Indianapolis is lower, but I wouldn't rule out some isolated damaging wind gusts and small hail, especially to the north and west. But this gets out of here fairly quickly and we'll have effect uh, a spectacular day ahead on Friday. Humidity levels will drop even further. Same story on Saturday, a muggy meter showing that we're in that comfortable category. Then humidity levels will rise to the highest levels they've been for the year so far. They'll be in that very humid category, hovering right around that muggy 70 degree mark. And not to mention, we're going to increase our temperatures too. Lower to mid 80s for high temperatures, or lower to upper 80s, I should say, for Friday and Saturday with tolerable dew points. Then that hot dome is going to expand overhead. 93, no doubt, one of the warmest Father's Days on tap here uh, on record here on Sunday and then borderline record territory for Monday. 96 degrees and numbers like this are around 15 to almost 20 degrees above normal across much of the upper Midwest and into the Ohio Valley. So today, yes, high temperature of 89. Many spots may hit 90 and then scattered storms will arrive here late. The next two days after look great with lower humidity and then 90 is the name of the game with increased shower chances each day. 96 would break the record for that day, but summer is here, folks, especially starting Father's Day. Cameron